and uh, update you on uh, Jackson's final shoot as we watch as Denek Vitek of the Czech Republic, another man who's uh, he's into multi-sport, Mike. The Czechs tend to use a lot of mountain biking, a lot of mountain running, uh, a little bit of kayaking as well as part of their training. Is that what you would recommend? I, I love the way that Andre Riba, he, he, he encourages variety and challenges in, in his team and well, the challenges that you take on, extra challenges, can sometimes help you here, but it hasn't helped VTEC at the moment. I can't, I can't believe he sanctioned the base jumping that Schlesinger has been doing. I don't think he knew about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, there are the top three. Lindstrom on the right of your screen, and uh, Moravec on the left, but uh, his stay there might be short-lived because Tim Burke now halfway round the final lap. Lindstrom is safe, sitting in the silver medal position at the moment. But Tim Burke gets spoiled the party or is spoiling it at the moment for them. Foucault a very, very solid. Uh, even he missed a target. Uh, will give you a list of those who've uh, shot the perfect score so far today. Uh, Dockel of Slovenia is one of them as Terry Bo comes across the line. He got close. 157 outside. He'll look at that and know that if he'd hit those two targets, there you go. He's seen it. He would have gone ahead of Martin Forgada. So he's skiing brilliantly well. But the champion from 2011 fails to claim a medal in 2013. It's looking good for the Norwegian relay team, provided provided Svensson gets uh, gets over his sore throat. And uh, to get rid of that in 24 hours is uh, not easy. Tim Burke has upped the pace. This is as hard as we've seen him ski. His girlfriend, Andrea Henkel, claiming the silver medal yesterday. Will he do the same in the men's event today? Through that second checkpoint, and he's in second position now, 21.5. And, of course, Lindstrom down at 34. So he's taken a second out of Lindstrom in the first half of this final lap. It's amazing. He, he's actually, Tim Burke, he's actually taken two seconds off for Cad's time again in the last 800 metres. So Tim <laughs> Burke, uh, it's a pity he didn't have a bit further to ski. Yeah, 23, uh, 23 seconds still to make up on the current race leader, Danny Mesetic. The Austrians have found themselves uh, a nice hotel in the woods. Up on the high point of the hill above the stadium where the snow's been in very good condition. Excellent cross-country skiing here to be had. And uh, we were surprised, Mike, by how many people were out this morning. Huge amount of people. Um, it must be a holiday here. There were that many people. Uh, Krug, Remo Krug uh, will be unhappy with the way that the Austrian boys have shot today. The best uh, is Landertinger in, well, 16th position at the moment. And he's missed two. So a minute, or well, just under a minute off the ski pace as well for um, Mesutic. Tim Burke digging deep. He's been on the podium, remember, this year. So he, he's proved that he is capable of it. He did it in the mass start in Pakuka. But uh, to do it in an individual race really does take some doing. This is the tough one. It's the one where the shooting is so much more important than all the other races. And Tim Burke uh, with 19 hits out of 20. The same score, remember, that the top six in the last year's World Championships got in Rupolding. Uh, Jakob Fack uh, down the order after a disappointing day. Jakob Fack, the defending champion, missing three for the Slovenians today. And he's outside the top 20 at the moment. Florian Graf, can he give the Germans something to cheer about? No. Oh, and the last two. The last two without even thinking. Tim Burke, this is the race of his life. He has come second uh, two times in World Cup, but this is a World Championships. That's tough skiing, double dancing up over this bridge. That's a steep climb. Well, he's only got another 120 meters to go for Tim Burke, and Lindstrom's time of 50-16 is uh, under threat, and it's going to be beaten comfortably. It's been a brilliant final lap from Tim Burke. He was 12 seconds clear of the Swede at the start. He's got a little closer to Marta Foucault, but not close enough to claim the gold. But the USA are going on to the medal table tonight because no one out there is anywhere near Tim Burke's time of 50.06. So France with a gold, USA with 
the silver at the moment and Sweden still in bronze medal position. Andre Morovitz has been pushed down into fourth. That's cruel fate for him. Only 48 seconds off the leaders. Just another day at the office for Martin Forcada. Too strong, too accurate for the rest to cope with. But many, many have had a good try, Mike, and so many, if they've cleared the last five targets, would have been challenging for that gold medal. It's amazing, and they know it, and that's why there's been so many missed. I'm so, so happy for Tim Burke. Uh, he had a bit of a cold at the beginning of this championships. He's got over that, and he's come back so strong. Look at Terry Bo again, if he'd uh, not missed those last couple of targets, he would have taken this title. Well, so many people can say that, of course. Sean Dolan there, down in 21st. Uh, he wouldn't have uh, taken the gold if he hit, hit all the targets. Now, Simon Forcade, he can still shake this one up a little bit. Don't forget, he's gone clear for his first two shoots. He's coming in for his second prone, and his first five in the prone position were all pretty central. So uh, it's looking good for France. Are they going to do the double? It is certainly possible. 29.51. Silver medalist from Rupolding last year. This is his event. Well, that looked to be uh, fairly central. Was that a split round? I didn't see it. I did. I did see the round split, but uh, it must be a miss. Look at that from top two he's gone down to around 10th 11th could be even outside the top 12 but the last five targets are still key for Simon Foucault the podium is still a possibility 129 outside and if he hits the last five he could just pip Freddie Lindstrom of Sweden Welcome back to Nova Mesto. It's not been the best of days for the Russians. Uh, just looking down the uh, those in the finish area, and Russia are nowhere to be seen. The Germans have now been knocked out of the top six. Andy Birnbacker is uh, has done okay actually, but uh, nowhere near the medal that he was desperately waiting for. And in the finish area, Birnbacker in seventh place, 136 off the leaders. The best of uh, the Slovenians, Jakob Fak, who started well, but missed two on his last shoot. How many, Mike? Uh, in fact, all the podium finishers at the moment have gone 0, zero, zero 1. Uh, so once again, the top three all with 19 hits out of 20. And uh, it's been a feature of these tracks here. Even Martin Fulcada hasn't been able to open up much time on uh, skiers that he's much stronger than. No, uh, Martin Fulcada looked tired today, and his brother here, Simon, he kept one heck of a shout there to get past an athlete ahead of him. It is difficult to hear when you're skiing with the racket in and around the stadium. You mentioned the Russians having a bad day. Patrick, the German team really haven't functioned on the shooting range either. No, I was just thinking when Arndt Piper came into the finish in Rupolding last year, he was carried along by a wave of sound created by the crowd, but hardly, hardly any utterance whatsoever. There aren't many Germans here, to be uh, honest, but uh, Piper will have found that an unusual experience. Bergman so good at the championships last year has had a rough time this season and he was quite honest in the hotel mike he said nowadays you cannot afford a single mistake because the men at the top are so good and so consistent here's the only man so far that i've seen that's hit 20 out of 20 and peter dockel going for his best result of the season ah, well done there peter dockel he doesn't normally shoot well to be honest uh, that has never been his strength but uh, the only athlete so far at 20 is, is a fantastic day and he'll be wishing his form was just that little bit better, but it's still going to be a top 20, which is a great performance at a World Championships. 
20th possession for Dockel. Good World Cup points. Uh, he can uh, certainly afford himself a drink tonight. A day off for the men tomorrow. And then those racing in the relay will be in action on Saturday. And then those who've done well enough to qualify for the mass start. Only 30 starters in the mass start. So it's uh, an elite event. And for many, it is the highlight of the championships. Vitek, uh, another two misses. So four in all. And in terms of distance, Mike, four misses, four minutes. Uh, it used to be about, what, 1,300 metres. Nowadays, they're covering closer to 1,800, 1,900 metres in that time. They absolutely are. And, uh, well, Vitek, he's covered this distance uh, and, and won a World Cup in a 20, but that was, what, 11, 12 years ago. But missing four today is too much. Fair to say that a minute is worth 400 metres? Probably less. A little bit less. A little, little bit, bit less. less. Certainly over 300. Probably closer to 380, 390. That's the penalty for one miss. It seems harsh. Always welcome your ideas as to the format of races and any uh, comments that you have. Biathlon. Uh, dot you're a sport at yahoo.co.uk or yahoo.com and uh, nice to hear from you all i think my favorite uh, email of the day uh, is from uh, tinger if i've got that right it says large burger versus tora burger over a 15 kilometer individual who would win <laughs> <laughs> well there's an interesting question well you can always guarantee that tora would hit all 20 targets if she did so large would have to hit well, he'd, he'd have to miss no more than six. Yeah, but he would take certainly a minute uh, per, per lap. Scott uh, go. this was great until that, that shot just. Another man with 19 out of 20 and another very respectable result for the Canadians. They've already got Le Gellic, who's up in the top 10 at the moment, lying in ninth position. So after his win in Osterson at the very start of the season, Le Gellic starting to show good form again. For Card's time of 40.59 is very, very safe indeed. 43.51 for Gao of Canada. 119, Danny Mesetic. In Danny's mind, Patrick, I would have be quite sure that he would have thought coming in for this shoot, this third shoot, that he would have gone clear the first couple of times in the range, because he normally does, and he loves the 20 kilometers. I think his late start number today is the kind of unsettled him, just the fourth op option in the Austrian team. Well. There's not been a lot of change in the wind. There's a little breeze in the centre of the range, blowing strangely from right to left, which is the opposite direction from the previous six days. I was going to say, a little bit of fog, very slight. I yeah. wonder if that's affecting Mesotich's sight. Uh, he just missed high there. Lights down, sights down, as normally said. So they're missing high, those shots that we've seen lately. So with those three misses, he's added at least 13% to his time. And for later starters, uh, there's no one outside the top 150. We've got Russell Courier of uh, USA. He certainly will have heard what uh, Tim Burke has done. And Life Norgram, one of the younger members of the uh, American team, he looked fairly chilled out this morning, just in uh, enjoying a coffee with our Dutch, co with Dutch colleague. This will be a nice finish if it goes down. Beautiful. It does. Great shooting. 18 out of 20. A good score. And the Americans uh, certainly seem to have got things right today. It's been a bit of a struggle up to today. Oh. Artem Prima. He's missed the first two. The shoot of his life. And then thinking about it.